Hey friends, are you tired of wasting your sunny days mowing your lawns? When you could be doing this instead, just relaxing with your favorite beverage while your lawn gets mowed by a robot. That's right. No more wasting those sunny days pushing a heavy, noisy lawnmower around, or even worse, paying someone a bunch of money to do so. This um, GOAT A3000 LiDAR robot uh, is pretty amazing. So I just set this thing up, and now I went from this overgrown lawn to a fully trimmed lawn in just a matter of a few minutes. This thing does an excellent job. Um, the cats don't even mind it. You can hear it uh, doesn't really make a lot of noise. This thing is just really impressive. It's whisper quiet. It has all kinds of safety sensors on here. Um, you can remotely adjust the grass cutting from the app. The app was super easy to set up. It took me a few minutes, probably from out of the box till getting this thing running, maybe five minutes, which is pretty crazy. The uh, app is very user friendly. And I'm gonna show you that here in a minute, but check this out. Just follows a little pattern. It's got plenty of power, 32 volts at 100 watts. Uh, plenty of traction in the back tires. It can just power itself right along, no problem. It has crazy sensors on here. The LiDAR is pretty impressive. It's basically an advanced laser sensor that is, it makes it able to predict like the distance between stuff and uh, obstacle avoidance and things like that. It's just pretty sweet. So as you can see, it just kind of goes around stuff um, and it shows you where it's literally mowing on the app, which is pretty crazy. I was super impressed with this. I, I was really skeptical at first, like, is this thing gonna do a good job? How, how well is this gonna do? Okay, friends, well, this was the uh, initial startup. So you can either choose to set your perimeter. It has that little uh, joystick on the app and you can just literally just steer the robot around, which is crazy. I chose to let it do the auto mapping and that's what it's doing right now. Just auto map my whole perimeter of my grass and then it just started mowing, which is pretty insane. So this uh, robot, you do not need any underground wires or perimeter obstacles you gotta set up. It uses its advanced technology, AI sensors and stuff like that to just mow your lawn once the perimeter is established. So I opted, if you want a little bit more precise, you can just steer it yourself, but it did actually a really good job of just finding out where the perimeter was. So once that was done, I basically just hit let's go on the app. Like I said, this app is very user friendly. It shows you like a little, uh, little map of your yard and it'll, it'll be green and the spots that it mows, it'll start showing you where it mowed. And it, it seems like, oh, it looked like it was gonna miss some spots and stuff, but it literally went back over them and just took care of everything. This has some nice, it can cruise along right next to the edge of your lawn, which is really nice. Um, it's not gonna get every single blade of grass on the edges. Uh, it's just realistically, there's no lawnmower that can do that right now that I know of. So you're just gonna have to use your weed eater a little bit, like I had to do before with my regular lawnmower. But this is just so much more convenient as far as not having to push a mower around and I can, uh, pretty much trust these sensors that it's not going to do anything, any damage or anything like that. You see in the video, my cats are kind of cruising around. They're not really bothered by it. And it'll have some nice obstacle observations and things like this. You can see it doesn't go super fast. It does have a couple speeds you can adjust in the app. And also, like I mentioned before, the uh, cutting height you can adjust um, on the app as well. It has two powerful little spinning... Um, discs on here with the blades on them and they actually do a really really good job of cutting the grass this grass was kind of high it was a little bit damp and it still did an amazing job i was i was very impressed actually i thought oh this is going to bog down it's not going to cut that good there's going to be all kinds of grass left over when it was cutting but no you can see that it's just like it's just mowing everything down 
you can see the app there it has a ton of different features you can you can put on there adjusting the motion sensing um, if you have other safety concerns or whatever you can uh, it's fully customizable for sure but I'm just really impressed with how well this went I had a, a part in the yard where it kind of got stuck because it was like a low there was a big divot in the yard so the mower got stuck for a little bit and uh, but it just kind of got out of it so it wasn't too bad um, not the mowers fault actually it was just a really deep hole in my yard but you can see up on the app there where it shows like what part is cutting and what part has already been cut it's pretty crazy so <laughs> I, I really liked it um, yeah and it'll, it'll tell you like okay what percentage of your yard is mowed you want to make sure that before you do start mowing that you remove all the rocks and branches and things out of your yard before you do it only it should be only cutting the grass uh, it does have just basically three spinning um, razor blades on each little cylinder under there so you can see how close it's getting to the edge there and just cutting along nicely it can get up to two inches uh, within two inches of the edge and so normal um, weed eating of course is going to be needed but you can adjust the cutting height like I said from 1.2 inches to 3.6 inches and then it's just gonna do its job it was pretty amazing look at this little guy just cruises along I at first I thought too oh it's missing all kinds of spots but then in the end it just it did a really spectacular job I don't think it missed anything here's a spot I was talking about where the tire got stuck had a lot of power there it was kind of just turning there there's a deep divot that the wet it was kind of wet um, sod there here we're testing out some of the sensors when it comes to the edge of the grass it will it'll sense that it's not grass there anymore and it'll turn also if there's an obstacle that comes in its way it senses that there's a ball and it, you can see it'll it'll continue its pathing and what it knows that it needs to be mowed but it'll do a little work around and find its way around that obstacle and it'll double back and then mow the rest of the grass that needs to be mowed so it's really cool whether it's a basketball or a pet or other foreign object in the way it'll stop and recognize that and then it'll uh, figure out a way to work around it and then it just reoriented itself and you can see right here it gets right along the fence line for a really close cut. I don't think I even needed to weed eat on next to the side of the fence. It got so close to the fence. So it just cruises along right on there. And then when it was all done, it just like hit the I told the robot to go home on the on the app and it just cruised over to its little docking station. This can mow at night, it can mow whenever. This also has an IPX6 weather rating, so it's protected against high pressure water stream from any angle. Not a great idea to mow your lawn in the rain, but this docking station is meant to be left outside and the mower can be out there as well. So it, it's just, look at this little guy just going, going home to charge up. Uh, it did my whole backyard here with, I think it had like more than half of its battery life still left over. So it was pretty nice. Uh, this will mow a lot of grass in a decent amount of time. It does have a couple different speeds. I let it run on the lower speed here and you can see guys it just does an amazing job i highly recommend this uh, robot if you guys want to check it out i'll link it in the description below